School districts across the region continue to bring students back to in-person learning. WBRE 28, WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes checks in with one district to find out their plan to get kids back in class. So for the most, most part of the year, we've been in the hybrid model, so our students have been in person two days. That changes today. The Mid Valley School District is pivoting from two to four days in person, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in the classroom. Wednesdays and the weekends are for deep cleaning. Well, that uh, gives us a lot of time to uh, do our disinfecting uh, to make sure that high touch services are, are done more specifically, as well as you know, many of our staff are still working with the virtual students, uh, both in person and virtually, so that'll give them an opportunity uh, to work more closely with them and prepare. Outside of some of the mitigation and sanitizing efforts already in practice, the school district cites communication as a large role for the pivot, especially here at the elementary level. That's why 80% of the elementary families are choosing to come back. We've done a tremendous amount of listening. We have a very talented staff here. And this room in particular, as you can see, uh, we have crates here. And this teacher was, uh, has put this into place in, in place of coat racks. You know, that art of teaching is still very alive. And we allowed for that flexibility as long as it stayed within the health and safety guidelines. Mid Valley thinks they've got a recipe for success to round out the spring and hope it leads to more students learning in person come the fall. And, you know, over the last six months, we've proven uh, to our families and, and community that we can do this in a very safe way. You know, working together as a community is what, is what it, made us successful this year. In Troop, Lackawanna County, Kevin Hayes, 2822 Eyewitness News.